Welcome to this short Corgi video tutorial where we discuss the addUpdater function. With this function you can specify a block of code and attach it to a view and this code will be called on each frame as long as this view is on the stage. It can be used for example for simple animations. That's what we're gonna do in this video, we will just animate a circle. To do this, we will just modify the Corgi Hello World sample project I downloaded from the web page. Let's check out the main.kt and there we see the sample code of this project. To check if everything is working all right, we will just run the sample code once. You can see that I already did this prior to the video because in this quick access checkbox there is already the Gradle task which was run last and it's run in GBM. Most probably this will be empty when you download the new project so just click on Gradle, get on Corgi run and then choose your the Gradle task you want to run. I will choose run GBM and there the sample project will be compiled and immediately, ex immediately executed. So it's working, then let's get rid of the sample code and start with our example. Let's just add our circle. So we have a circle with a radius of 20 and gold color and let's place it somewhere where we can see it. Let's check there is our circle. We will now attach a block of code to the view of the circle by calling the addUpdater function. Just addUpdater and in these curly braces we have two things. We have the this with is actually this view, the circle, and we have an it. And I can show you the parameter We're just printing it. And as you can see, it will be filled with lots of numbers. And these are the times that passed from the last frame which at updater was called. Let's just remove this again and manipulate the view itself, maybe with radius plus equals 1.0, which should look like an expanding circle, as you can see. It will get bigger and bigger. Can manipulate all mutable properties like X and Y. And it will just move it one to the right and one down on every frame. This will be done as long as the view is on the stage. If you have yeah, things that you want to do on every frame and don't attach it to a specific view. It's very easy because in these curly braces, in this block of code, you have this as the current stage and the stage itself is a view. So you can just call add updater here and manipulate maybe this view from here or do other things which are not directly attached to the view and will be called as long as the stage is on the screen. And this already concludes our short video for the add updater function.